Hello there, doll lovers. All right, so I have kind of like a little bit of a mashup of uh, two separate issues, but I'm just going to put them together. So uh, over a week ago, when I was out with my in-laws, we were coming home, and uh, a house that people were moving out of, they had just dumped a whole bunch of stuff right by their trash can. And it caught our attention because it was bright pink. It was Barbie. And we, uh, my husband and I got out of the car, took a look at it, and we're like, hey, this is actually still good stuff. So we put it in the back seat. We finished our way to the house, which was like just literally down uh, the block. And then we uh, took it out of the car. And I realized, you know, it was dirty from sitting outside, so I had to hose it off. But we've had some fluctuating temperature changes and past couple days it's been way too cold so I had these things sitting outside my yard over by my hose so I could clean them off so without further ado uh, one of them was just a little ATV which is about I'd say good size for maybe Stacy to ride but her legs don't uh, open wide enough for her to really sit on it but it would be like her size more like an action figure probably fit on this better but I don't really have one but anyway so it's just a ATV uh, this is a battery operated bubble gun and I don't know if it'll work but at least it's cleaned and if anything else it could just be a cute little prop uh, there was this cute little white chair. It's plastic. There was this pizza. Oops. I forgot that wasn't connected. Hold on a second. Okay. I'm not exactly sure what this is. I know it's Barbie because, you know, the logo. But this is a scale. has a panda face and some bamboo. And then down here looks like a bed. And this part springs open and then this little screen here is a uh, series of x-rays so I kind of got the feeling that this is a uh, uh, like I don't know some wild animal care facility thing but I've never seen it before I don't quite know what it is so if anyone can help identify this I'd like to know, just so, you know, to satisfy the curiosity I have. And, lo and behold, I got another pink convertible. And you're saying, another one? Well, yes, because at the flea market a while back, not too long ago, I got one. But it doesn't have its stickers for the grill and the headlights, so... There we go, I got two of the same car now, which if I wanted to, I could try to uh, paint one of them, but I've never done that, so hopefully we'll, uh, we'll see how that goes. And then the biggest piece, okay, so it's actually in kind of pieces, it's a Barbie RV, so this side came off. It's the only side that doesn't have a tire. And I think maybe that was the reason why they threw it out. Because it was missing a tire. But this is the kitchen and the bathroom with a toilet and a shower stall. The pizza was put into the oven. And I realized this is a AAA battery operated pack. Which is, I guess is for sound effects in here. And then this is the RV itself. As you can see, it is missing its actual old seats in the front. It didn't have any furniture. And the, the door that comes off, it can actually connect back on. But it has these little hook thingies, which keep this side in place. And it has like a... Yeah, a, a hinge on this side for that to open up with. And, you know, it's got the steering wheel. There's still stickers on the inside for its details. 
And this was basically the big thing that caught our eye. So it has all the rest of its tires. Oh, so I was thinking maybe that was the reason why they tossed it was because it was missing a tire. We'd been we'd driven past that house before a few times. We'd seen it in a process of of them moving out, so we knew that this they were not going to come back for it. That was dumped right by the trash can. And so I now have a Barbie RV a patio chair, a new convertible, and another odd piece of whatever. All right, so with that aside, um, I went to Hobby Lobby the other day and they were having a 50% off on all Christmas decor. So that's pretty much what I went after. This bag, they call this uh, table scatters. And now I understand what they are because uh, I've seen these before, you know, like uh, acorns, snowflakes, leaves, hearts, you have a table display that you can just set a few of these out like those glass pebbles. So these are snowflakes and there's absolutely no holes in them whatsoever. So they're not ornaments. And I thought these are just too cool. And since I have an Abby Bonneville, I was thinking maybe I could uh, do a scene uh, with her with these. So instead of $3.99, it was $1.50. All right, so I got some miniature charms because I do have a, a small tree. So these are just Christmas balls. These are little Santa hats, mittens, boots, and mailboxes. Little candy canes. They're metallic, but that's fine. A tree topper with a couple extra balls. And this set of tools. It's got hammers, wrenches, pliers, screwdrivers, power drill, saw blade. It's really cool. And I think these will be just the, the right size for uh, the male doll's hand. And then I got some of these nice little winter uh, trees. These were supposed to be a dollar a piece, but they were half off. The only thing that was an actual non-Christmas item is this uh, Mayberry Street. They do the house uh, doll sets and all the uh, furniture and decor. So this wasn't considered a Christmas item even though it is Christmas lights. And it was okay because it was a buck or two dollars. So I got all of that so that way I could decorate my tree. So I'm getting my a shelf cleared over there for the diorama, and I've got this uh, Barbie chimney. And I'm looking at it, and uh, it is, you know, that bright orange, you know, from the late 80s, early 90s and such. And it was just kind of throwing the whole scene off because I've got, you know, wicker furniture and everything else is like real and, you know, textured and natural and everything. So... I'm looking at this and I'm like, God, this thing is just like throwing everything uh, out of feng shui. So I uh, took my chimney and I began painting it. And so now it looks like this. It looks like real brick stone. I spray painted the back with green. Uh, that was the only color I had spray paint, but I just wanted to cover up the orange. This was a, a day and a half process. I started at 1 a.m. last night because I don't sleep. <laughs> So I covered the whole thing in gray and white, and then I went, uh, as soon as the first layer dried, I went over it again, and then uh, I kind of just dabbed it a bit so it would give a uh, stone texture, and I let that dry, and then when I woke up uh, today, I just began working on it with uh, black and gray and brick red, and so I would take my brush, and dab it, and just brush, 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 and so it's like you know, 
dabbled here and there. And then I would kind of go through and just do some straight lines because I wanted the stone to show up over the grout in between, which is why I did that light layer first. I left that gray on top, but um, I don't have the insert piece anymore. That was a grill that would have a rotisserie chicken. Um, I, I actually used to have the whole dollhouse that this piece went to. This was acquired like a, over a year ago, but I recognized it immediately. So I'm going to take some cardboard and I'm going to cut it, cover it with some uh, wood grain looking wallpaper, or scrap paper, just fold it so that way it covers up this hole right here and I can use it as a shelf and then I can have some of the Christmas decor items on it in the diorama. And I wasn't quite done yet. I really wanted to continue painting. So there's this um, really pretty blonde wooden shelf that I bought uh, last week. And, uh, you know, it spoke to me, but I really didn't know what I was going to do with it. Well, I took it out today, got all my paints out, and my daughter, she decided she was going to help me. So we decided that it was going to be painted with primary colors. So I took the, oh, hold on, <laughs> trying to get my camera set up here. Okay. So the first shelf was painted blue and that pulls down like a drawbridge and I painted the inside orange. I painted the two heart-shaped doors a red and a yellow. The inside of those are also orange. And then the top shelves were painted green and purple. I didn't have purple, so I had to actually mix it, which took uh, a longer time than I thought was going to to get a right color. But finally it turned out. And once I looked at this, I realized yeah, this would be a great shelf for the smaller dolls. Because she's just the right height to be able to reach things like toys and books and whatnot. So I thought, you know, Stacy and Skipper could use this, like if, you know, along with the Kelly dolls, if they're in daycare or at a toy store or something. So I've got a few little items put up here just to show how well things like that'll fit. And I actually kind of like how it turned out. And then I just did white on just the front part of the base and on the inside of the doors because this is pretty much going to be the only side that will you know will be seen the other sides are going to probably be like you know flush against a wall or have other furniture put up against it so if i flip out the little toys you'll be able to see better so we have the red door the blue the yellow the green and the purple. I was also going through this at the same time teaching my daughter the primary colors. I mean she knows all these colors. So when she decided she wanted blue in the center, I was like, you know, that could work because if I have either primary color on the other side, the secondary color could go on top. And then on the inside I could do orange and that way all six colors are included. And it has two little hooks up at the top. So I can hang this on the wall at another point and just use it as a shadow box if I want. But I thought that would be, you know, pretty well set up for, you know, her size. Because look, it's like it's like an entertainment center. She can just open it up, put things inside. And then here's a skipper. And she's tall enough where it's not too short, it's not too tall, but it wouldn't work for Barbie. And I was thinking that was that would be something nice because I haven't really uh, done a craft for any of the kid dolls. And I actually have, you know, like the teen dolls. I've got the Stacys and the Skippers. My daughter, she's got the majority of the Kelly dolls. I've got a couple. Um, 
I actually got a couple of the Munchkin Land boys and a couple of uh, Chelsea girls. So these will be cute too. They're coming over and they're like, oh, we can open up the door. We can take a toy out, put it away, and things like that. So, yeah, that's like a lot of little things all put together. But then we're also going to test out the uh, tools. Let me open this up real fast. All right, so I've got my World Peacekeeper guy here. And we're going to start with the handy dandy hammer. Now they do have uh, a fishy line of uh, tied to each one because they are technically uh, little uh, ornaments. Okay, so the, the hole of his grip hand is, is wider around than the actual hammer, but it's uh, proportionate. Let's see, what about the screwdriver handle? That's a little thicker. Yeah, there we go. So he's got the screwdriver. So he can actually look like he's working on, you know, putting the wheels on a skateboard or something. They're, these are super lightweight, but they've got some really nice details to them. I especially love the power drill. Oh yeah, there we go. Dad to the rescue, put the toy together. The only thing that doesn't uh, fit with the aesthetic is the quote-unquote tool bag. It's far too small in scale with all the other items. I did take a look at the actual Mayberry uh, set of tools, and even though the instruments there were slightly smaller, it came with a real wooden toolbox case, which... I think would actually be able to hold some of these tools in it. Then we have him holding a, the saw blade. So um, I may actually uh, check that out at some point, but that's not a necessar necessarily thing I need to look at. The reason why I, I got the instruments is because it's normally $7.99, and because it was considered, you know, a Christmas thing, I got it on half. So that was my major reason for buying it because I was just like, there's no way I'm going to pay $8 for these small hand tools at another time. My, you know, my money's precious in Hobby Lobby. I go broke there way too fast. So uh, I like to shop when there's sales going on. All right. So, uh, yeah, that's a, a major sharing haul that I have here with the Christmas decor, the stuff that I found on the side of the street, and the painting jobs that I've done for my household items, which uh, I gla I'm glad turned out really well because I was I was worried about ruining this because it's like yeah I don't like the original color of it, but I also don't want to mess it up to somehow even worse. <laughs> So, I, I feel really good right now. Alright, well, tomorrow is my birthday, but I'm not going to get my present until the weekend. So, uh, this is kind of me just enjoying some things beforehand. So, yeah, tomorrow, husband has to work, things are still, you know, need to get done. So, tomorrow's just going to be pretty much a normal day, and then Friday his paydays then we'll go and start having fun so i look forward to it yay all right well thank you guys stay tuned for more bye